Hello! Welcome to Bell Art Attractions. This is your bi-weekly guide to some of the going-ons in the world of art and uh, this week, uh, especially theatre. Uh, this is Theatre Edition with your hosts, uh, my dear friend Nella, our Hello. director, and me, Milica. And uh, what we wanted to do today is uh, just to highlight some of the interesting plays. Because the theatre scene is heating up! People, there's a, there's actually a whole bunch of plays on for this week, um, and you can check out the links below for more info about each play that we're going to mention. And remember to check up on your favorite theatre, see uh, what kind of guidelines they're following week by week, what's changing, what's staying the same. Uh, before we get into it, please subscribe, slap that bell, like if you like, and comment if you want. Course. and uh, if you have anything you, you would uh, want us to write about or talk about you know anything you would want us to cover anything interesting or you just want to talk to us because we're cool like that you can always send us an email at bellartattractions at gmail.com or belgradeartnews at gmail.com and uh, you know moving on let's get into it I know you guys can't wait to hear more about uh, the upcoming theater events So, uh, first off, uh, these are our top picks, and this one is from Pozorista Slavia. It's on Sena Slavia on Svetuk Save Street from 16 to 18, and they will be showing their version of the famous Serbian play Koshtana on the Friday uh, of the 5th of February at 7 p.m. The tickets for this are 600 dinars, and the play is a very famous Serbian classic play from Bora Stanković. It's about um, Koshtana. A Roma woman, and she's offered a privileged life in the richest house in the city. But uh, her essence and and her soul is free. Her spirit is free. So for her, it seems like a golden cage. So this play will be a melodrama, and it has a very depressing ending that will explore the ideas of choice. And you know, furthermore, if you have read the the, the book, uh, you realize that. Uh, Choice is a very broad subject and sometimes we think we have one, but we actually don't. And uh, Kostana plays with this subject in a very beautiful way, in a very interesting way. She's offered a choice to run away with her lover, who is the son of the biggest boss in Vranje at the time. And there are also Turkish and Arabic melodies and movements in the play, so that's very exotic and beautiful combined with the Serbian culture. So we recommend you guys to check it out and book your tickets soon. I think, uh, Milica, if I'm not mistaken, that play and all the other plays that we're talking about today will be in Serbian. Um, some of them are easier to follow along with than others. The next play I'm going to tell you about is um, Belgradsko Dramsko Pozorište Scena Olivera i Rade Marković on Milish. Milishevska 64A. I don't know why street names always get me. Milishevska 64A will be showing Crna Kutija or Black Box this weekend. That's Saturday the 6th and Sunday the 7th of February at 7 p.m. for both days. So tickets are a thousand dinars. And this play is a co-production with Bell Art Production from Belgrade. It explores this idea that we all have three lives and it's so true i mean i don't know about you Milica, but i know it's definitely true for me and for the people that i know we have our public our private and also our secret life and we used to keep our secrets in our heads but today we also keep them in our phones <laughs> yep <laughs> yep yeah so what i guess what this play asks is what if your cell phone could talk so the whole story goes along about seven friends who are gathered to welcome the lunar eclipse where they reveal their most intimate secrets and desires during dinner. What is truth and what is secret? What is private and what is secret? What is public and what is private? You know, it, it questions all these things. Uh, how well do we know the closest ones that we live with or live next to? Um, our neighbors, our friends, even people that we share our beds with. It's its really an interesting take on this old concept. 
Yes, and it's very interesting. I think uh, it sounds familiar to me. I think there is an Italian movie uh, called Perfect Strangers, uh, who also explores a similar subject. And it's very, it's a modern take, you know, on privacy. Like uh, we have closest friends, as you have said, and families that we trust. But who do you trust enough to let them use your phone? And what you keep as a secret and, and who from. So I think it's going to be very interesting and dramatic and also very kind of familiar to look at something like that. Secretly familiar. Secretly familiar. <laughs> so moving on, uh, I think this one is uh, is an interesting, you know, uh, to interesting thing to watch and I will check it out for sure. Uh, next one is uh, on Saturday the 6th and it's also bringing us another performance of Blake Karovi or dogs uh, or cops. That's like a word play in Serbian that will be held at Teatr na Brdo. Uh, so that's played on Velika Sena uh, on Anela's favorite street to, to pronounce Turgenevljeva 5 at 7 p.m. And these tickets range from uh, 800 to 1200, depending on where you choose to sit. Uh, so we have mentioned this play before, and uh, but it's on again and it still sounds like a lot of fun. The performance is played uh, uh, based on the play by Christopher Johnson called The Dog Logs. And uh, this play was translated into Serbian by Milica Mihailovic. So uh, it's an interesting story about two actors and the production that uh, play 14 breeds of dogs on an almost empty stage. So it sounds like a real challenge uh, for, you know, from an actor's perspective, from my point of view, it's like, Whoa, definitely interesting to watch and interesting to take part in. And, uh, you know, it really gives them the opportunity for their skills to shine and for the text to shine. So Kerovi wants to show and, and just examine the human attitude towards dogs. And it's a play to understand what people, how people articulate their feelings towards dogs, because it's a very, you know, very important relationship in many of our lives and uh, a lot of it has been said a lot of it uh, has been said on it but it's like a never-ending subject always interesting and always important it's such an evolving subject especially with this lockdown i don't know if you've noticed but so many more people have dogs and have these attack i know my neighbor her dog has more jackets than my daughter <laughs> and <laughs> yeah I, sometimes I feel guilty, you know, I see people in the park walking their dogs and their dogs are like fashionable and well-dressed and I look at my dog and she's like, I'm just here being smelly, trying to eat garbage. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, a dog. <laughs> yes, yes. I think, you know, the, the relationship of uh, humans and dogs have changed uh, through the centuries and through the history, but yeah. the essence of it has remained the same. Exactly, exactly. That's, I think, what this play explores. And uh, and it's one, I remember we spoke about it, it's, it's a few months back and I wanted to see it then and I didn't get a chance to go. So this is one more chance. But let me tell you to a play that I definitely will be going to this Saturday. Um, it's a play for kids shown at Pozorište Dusko Radovic. Scena za decu na Abad. Dareva. I need to practice these names. It's, Abadareva. I think one. it's Abadareva 1. Yep. In, in Tashmaidam Park. <laughs> yep. Sorry, it's on Sunday, not on Saturday. I got excited. On Sunday, the 7th of February at 12 p.m. Uh, tickets are 600 dinars and the play is called Galava. Now, I don't know if you remember Galava's travels, but I certainly do. Uh, with a. How do you say it in English? Liliputansi. I know oh, that that was the name. What's Serbian. the name? Nina, help us out, director. Yeah, Lily, Lily Padlians or something. But yeah, it is something for like ages, that. It's for ages three and up. So I'm quite excited. Uh, my daughter's just turned three and it's 55 minutes long. So if you have little, little ones, it might be a little, little bit long, but you know, you can always go in and out of these things. Uh, the play is based on Jonathan Swift's famous novel, Gulliver's Travels, but the writers of Gulliver have refreshed this well-known story with the spirit of culture and art of the Far East, which uh, makes it like such a new learning experience for the, for the little ones and use the story of the of a wandering sailor as the basis for dealing with peer violence understanding and respect 
for each other. So good lessons to learn and a fine play to see. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, so also on the Sunday on 7th of February, but this one at 5 p.m. at the famous opera and theater Madleniano uh, in the big uh, hall, so Velika Sala on Glavna 32 in Zemun. There is a play that's catered more for adults and it's called Veselo Dovica or The Merry Widow. Uh, the tickets for this play are 1,300 dinars and this year it actually marks uh, the 150 the anniversary of the birth of Franz Lechar. So the Madlenianum Opera and Theatre is putting up his most famous operetta, this one, Veselo Dovica. And uh, it's a very fun story. It follows the comic story about the rich widow, Hanna Glavara, and attempts of her compatriots to find her a new husband. But in a way that her inherited wealth remains in the Principality of Montenegro. So, you know, she's trying to keep all her cash and to find a suitable room, which could be probably challenging in those days. And uh, retaining the charm of original story, they have created a version that traditionally plays, you know, with uh, modern dynamics of uh, theatrical storytelling. It brings new scenes. It enhances the cabaret atmosphere that I love so much. And, you know, I think it's suitable for all generations uh, who are looking for a laugh, for good music, for dance, for all uh, lovers of musical and art in general. So, seems definitely worth a watch. And so, I think that's it for this one. We have cherry-picked uh, our favorites. And uh, if you guys have any more favorites, if you have something you would like us to cover, you know, you can always send us an email or a message. Yeah, email us at bellartsattraction at gmail.com or belgradeartnews at gmail.com and remember to check the links below for more infos about the plays that you've seen today. Um, also remember to continue checking up on your favorite venues, checking the times that they've changed and if anything else has changed uh, week by week. Uh, if you do like what you see please hit the subscribe button now slap that bell like if you like and comment which play you would want to see i know i'm definitely seeing gulliver and i would love to see carabi this week what about you milita oh i think i would like to see black box and i have been pl uh, making plans you know to see it for a long long time and uh, honestly, I think it's uh, quite about time, you know, to make a plan, to make a list of all the plays that I want to see this year, because now it's double digits and it's becoming a bit frantic to keep up with everything I want to see. But yeah. this one definitely seems worth a watch. No, I agree with you. That one also, it, it hits right at the center of something, you know, something that could be a little bit uncomfortable, which is, I think, one of the primary points of really, really good theater and really, really good commentary. Um, but thank you for joining us this week. Remember on Sunday we meet up to have a little discussion about what's going on, uh, have a chat, have a podcast, uh, tell you about some more events that might be happening in the early part of the week and have a cup of coffee together. So do join us on Sunday. Uh, Sunday. This is Nella and Milica and Hi. our Bell Art Attractions. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>